So virtual reality isn't just for gaming anymore. At Arizona State University, it is changing the way the students there are actually learning. This is wild. From biology to chemistry, students are stepping into digital worlds to solve real problems. And professors say it is boosting both grades and engagement. 12 News journalist Kyle Simchuk shows us. At first glance, this looks like a virtual reality arcade, but it's actually an ASU classroom. Dreamscape Learn is a way in which we put students into a cutting edge virtual reality technology that engages them in a narrative story where they are the ones who are tasked with solving an urgent problem. Virtual reality is now part of introductory classes in biology, chemistry, and beyond, designed to put students at the center of the action, not just behind a desk. When I first heard about Dreamscape, I was skeptical. I put the headset on and I found out how immersive it was and I was hooked. I realized this is a way of engaging students, which I don't know of any other way of doing it. Intro chemistry classes are the latest to use VR. And of course, there are still real world lab portions of the class, but VR helps students see what is otherwise invisible to the naked eye. One of the biggest problems in chemistry is you see a molecule on a, plant, on a piece of paper, that's not a molecule at all. Right? The only reason molecules do what they do is, is, is because there's more than one of them. And furthermore, the molecules are in motion, they're in collision, and so chemistry is really a property of billions of molecules doing things together. And VR helps us to do that in a way that I have been able to do any other way. ASU says the technology isn't just keeping students engaged, it's helping them earn better grades. And students were 1.7 times as likely to earn an A in the Dreamscape version of the course as compared to business as usual. We saw about a full letter grade improvement. And for professors like Ian Gold, VR isn't just changing outcomes, it's changing who feels welcome in class. One of the problems with traditional chemistry has a very dry academic background sort of culture. And some students don't feel welcomed by that culture. They can't see themselves in it, almost feel rejected by that culture. So one of the goals of this project is to bring them into chemistry so they can see themselves in it, see themselves contributing to it. Nearly 45,000 students have used the VR courses alone, and ASU says they're planning to expand to other courses. In Tempe, Kyle Simchuk, 12 News.